Hello there guys, here I have my review on the new Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 1978 Michael Myers mask. This one just came out. It's modeled after the original film, the first Halloween film. As you can see, I'm relating the jumpsuit, so once I try it on, you know, you get the whole gist of it of how it looks with the, the jumpsuit and all that. And um, honestly, right out of the bag that I came in, um, I was kind of like, eh, I didn't like it a whole lot, but it grew on me, because honestly, it's like a love-hate relationship. I do have a little nitpicks that I don't like. I'm not the only one. I saw a lot of comments on this. Uh, I'll tell you guys in a minute. But I'm like seeing it in pr like right in front of me. Like it looks a lot like it does in the film. It does. But once I put it on there, I look in the mirror. It looks, I don't know, it looks weird to me. But maybe on camera it looks different. Maybe on pictures and stuff like that. I have seen pictures of people that have bought it. And it does look pretty screen accurate. So maybe in this review or the thumbnail or whatever pictures I put at the end of the video. Oh, it might look good, but um, the first nitpick, um, well, bef before I start shit talking the mask, it's a great mask. I really like it. It is screen anchor. Like I said, it's just little things that you know, kind of messed up a little bit. And I have autofocus on, so my bad if it gets a little blurry since I don't have a camera person. Uh, you know, like when you move around and stuff like that, autofocus tends to mess up the image when it gets blurry because it focuses on other things. So here's the mask. Hopefully, it focuses on the freaking mask. Let's see. There you go. So it looks pretty neat. You know, really screen accurate. He got the little lines on the side next to his ears. I'll explain what those lines are in a minute. I do have it inside a mannequin head with a black shirt wrapped around. So it looks pretty neat. So now that you guys saw the mask, I mean, it's a white mask. There's not much to it. I'll explain what the issues are. First off, it does have some blue tints. I don't know if the original mask in the film had blue tints, but every action figure, every mask that's been made before by whoever the hell makes the mask they don't have blue tint mine really had it like a lot in the eyes I don't know if you can see it on the camera because it's pretty light it's pretty light blue you can see it in person you can really notice it in person but I don't know if on the camera you can pick it up right around the eyes yeah yeah eh, that's whatever and this line here it's, uh, it's actually pretty screen accurate most Michael Myers masks have that line because in the original film it's a William Shatner mask uh, Captain Kirk painted white so the original mask has some sideburns and in the film they removed the sideburns so it left that mark so it's screen accurate you know that it has that mark there from the actual film when they removed the sideburns to make the Michael Myers mask and um yeah it just, it's pretty it looks pretty good aside from the blue tints that looks a little weird and the, ha the hair honestly I'm not a fan of the hair it feels very rough it feels like very hard to style. Like I have the Curse of Michael Myers mask. To me, that's the best hair on Michael Myers mask I have ever seen in any store or anything. It's the only other one that I own. But like this hair, it's very rough. It's very hard to style and stuff. I'll show you guys in comparison to your other mask. And also the hairline. Let's see if it focuses. The hairline right there. It looks like it's glued down. You can't really notice that much on camera. It's more like a thing that you can only notice if it's in person right in front of your face. But it's like you know, it's like a very it's kind of like it's irons and then glued down the hairline, so it looks a little weird, but it's excusable. Like you know, it looks it's not like that noticeable. And I'll show you guys what I mean from the other Michael Myers mask that I have, which is the only one that I've had up to now, and I really like it. So it's funny because this one in pictures, like customer pictures and all that, it looks horrible, but in person it looks really good. So it's like if you buy it online, you probably think it looks like shit in the pictures, but in person. I guarantee you it looks pretty damn well. See the hairline on this one? It's like, I don't know how they did it, but it, let me see if I get the focus, the freaking autofocus. I don't know how they did it, but it's like, it's kind of like they put a wig on the mask, because the other one's not a wig, it's like layers of hair. And, yeah, it's, and the hair is like very soft, and like, you could easily comb it or move around and style it. Sorry about that, guys, I had to stop recording for a minute because my SD card was full, so I had to put in a new card. But yeah, like this hair, it's probably like one of the best hairs I've ever seen on a mask. Not just a Michael Myers mask, but any mask in general. It's very soft. It feels very nice, you know, for the price that you're getting. These masks cost 60 bucks, so it's not so expensive, but it's not cheap either. Like you expect some, but like this one's like, I, I suppose the 2018 Halloween mask is kind of the same. It looks the same in pictures, like the type of hair that it has. It's like very hard. Like I tried combing it, and it was like extremely hard to comb it and style it. And it's kind of like layer like it's like you know the, la the first layer is here and then under that they put like another line of hair and then so, so on and so forth it's not like we just one wig that covers the whole head like the one i just showed you the other mask but aside from the blue tint it actually has some brown spotting here 
I don't know if it's like that from the factory, but like I, I scratched it off, so I suppose it's maybe a factory defect. I don't know if they're all like that, but it did have a little brown paint like on the eye, eye that I scratched off. It also has pretty accurate. Uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but in person you could notice. See, like, could get the focus on there. But um, it has like skin tones here, you know, I guess to replicate the fact that it's a, a William Shatner mask painted white. I think the camera does pick it up, it's hard to tell. But yeah, it does have skin tone color there, which is pretty neat. And it has very slight skin tone color on the edge, which is also pretty neat. It's pretty screen accurate. I think the original might have had a little bit more, I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, it's a mask, there's not really much I could go into detail about. The inside on the right ear also has that blue tint. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up. I don't think it does, but in person you can see it has like some light blue tints in there. So let me show you guys what the mask looks like on me. Now it is oversized, or I guess bigger, it's not ex exactly oversized. The other one that I have, and I think all the other Halloween masks as well from what I've heard, it's pretty tight. So like, yeah, it's pretty tight. Honestly, I prefer it loose. I understand why they might have made it loose. In my opinion, I think they made this one loose. Well, it looks a lot better now, outside of the mannequin head, to be honest. I think they made it loose when you put it on. Like, there's like space between your face and the mask. So that way, like, when there's like light coming from above or from the back, from the back of you, like it casts a little shadow and you know it looks like the blacked out eyes. So my opinion, that's why I think they did it. That's why I would do it because if the mask is tight, that means your eyes are very close to the eye holes and therefore your eyes will be seen. And Michael Myers' eyes are not supposed to be seen. Like the one, the Curse of Halloween, Curse of Michael Myers mask that I have. It's pretty tight, so you can see your eyes most of the time. So this one, it's loose. So let's see if in this review you can see the eyes or not. Slip it on with the jumpsuit. Can't really see from here if the eyes are visible or not. I hope you guys could hear me. It looks pretty neat. Let me get in front of you guys. Obviously, there you can see my eyes because there's a light right in front of me, so it's obvious you're gonna see my eyes. It looks pretty good. You know, I'll probably put some pictures at the end of the video. Let me turn this light off. And uh, wow, that looks really good. Like with the right lighting. It look very creepy. Dun, 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 Yeah, it looks very good. I, I dig it. <laughs> you can't see the eyes that much. So yeah, that's why hopefully you actually heard everything I said when I had the mask on. And it wasn't disordered or hard to hear because I was talking with the mask on. Hopefully everything is audible. But, um, yeah, that's why I would make the mask bigger, basically, so there's, like, enough space in front of your face, so in certain lighting, and your eyes aren't visible, and I think that's, I think they should do that for all Michael Myers masks, because I think the 2018 one, I don't own it, I will buy it in the future in a couple months, and, uh, I think it's tighter, but I think they should all be this loose, I think it's, like, the perfect size, it's not big, but it's not small, it's, like, just the right size, and, uh, honestly, when I do get the 2018 one, the older beat up version, I'd rather buy it in person so I can see how it looks like before. Because online, you know, everything looks different in pictures. But when I do get it, regardless, I'm gonna overhaul it, I'm gonna make it. Because that's what a lot of people do. I found some pretty good videos that show me how to do it. Like how to make it look more screen accurate, the 2018 mask. So I'll probably do a tutorial on that uh, sometime around October, maybe. Uh, buy it and I'll do a tutorial on how to overhaul it and modify it to make it look more screen accurate, the 2018 Michael Myers mask. So yeah, Trick or Treat Studios, you know, 60 bucks, you know, if you like Michael Myers, if you like Halloween, you know, it's a great mask. Uh, they haven't given us an original Halloween mask, like from the first movie before, not that I know of. And it's great, I mean, it was worth the money, it was worth the wait. You know, I highly recommend it. You guys know I'm a Trick or Treat Studios fan, um, because of the gremlin back there, and Shucky over here. Just movies I like, so I like buying their stuff, and I think it's good that there's a company that makes movie props and stuff like that, because that's pretty cool. And I think there should be more companies like that, but with other movies like Star Wars and DC and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, I might get their seat of Chucky figure, doll I mean, but it's 600 bucks, so um, I might get it. I really want it, but I don't know if, depending on the money situation is, by the time it comes out. And I'll do a review on him too, I think he comes out in December. 
this one was supposed to come out last December, but it got delayed like three months. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like my review, if you guys like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching.